So if you look at our equation, so V as a function of X is equal to minus 50 times 10 to power 3. OK, uh, is it X or X squared? OK, no, 35. times 10 to power 3 x squared, right? So in this case, right, our a will be what? Set face, right? So over here, if we were to sketch, right, if we were to sketch, if this is our x and this is our moment, we know at point a, right, at point a, it'll be equal to zero, right? Because that's our first, uh, first, value that we found, right? So if you look at point A over here, our value is equal to what? Zero, right? And then when we go to what's point B, right? It's minus 25. So question for you guys, minus is it going down uh, this way? Or is it going down this way? Anyone? So, so which one, the top curve or the bottom curve? Anyone? Yeah, top someone. curve. Yep, top curve, right? They, it, it has to be what, a uh, 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 top curve, okay? Right, so top curve, okay, will be like this, okay? Will look like this, right? It will. So based on what I've taught you guys before, right? The curve can be either this way or that way. So this is the wrong one. Okay, now Louis Sanchez asked tension or compression. Okay, so if, if you look at moment, right, if you look at moment, right, so let's say we have a rectangular. Okay, so positive moment looks like this, right, based on deflection. So on the top, so if this is our neutral axis, right, so this will be in compression, this will be in tensile, right. So for this case, the deformation go this way. Based on our neutral axis. Okay, at the top will be under tensile. At the bottom is going to be compression. Okay, right. So we, we know the trend. So the next one we are going to do is we are going to look at point B. Exactly at point B. Okay, so at point B. I'm going to start on a new page, okay? Have you all finished copying yet, please? If not, uh, please carry on. That was for a question before bending moment. That was. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Louis. Uh, you want to clarify that question that you asked at 10 o'clock? Or can you talk? Or you, you, you are okay? Louis, what do you mean by tension or compression, Louis? Okay. As long as I've answered, I'm fine. I don't need to feel lost and frustrated. Right. Now I'm going to look into, I'm going to still copy this diagram over here so we know where we are. I'm, I'm still going to copy this diagram. We do another two more equations, then we go for a break, okay? Right, so the next point that we're going to do, okay, we are going to look at, let me move this across. We are going to look at point B. Okay, we'll look at point B. So we are going to look at point B at Point B, where X is equal to 0 0.8 meters. Okay, so we are going to draw this. 
right? So now we know, again, datum over here. Now we are very sure that this distance x is equal to 0 0.8, right? So this is at point A, and this is at point B, right? So this is uh, V at point B, moment at point B, right? So we know that this is equal to uh, 50,000 multiplied by 0 0.8. Okay, so now it's not a function of x anymore. It's a constant. So 50 times by 0.8 is equal to 40. And we also know that the distance over here to here is 0 0.4, right? So we, we do uh, static analysis. Here we are going to do uh, static analysis. And you know that we are doing from uh, left to right. Right. So positive. In terms of Y. So it's equal to minus V. At point B. So this will be minus. Uh, 40 times 10 to about 3. So V at point B is equal to minus uh, 40 times 10 to the power 3 Newton. Okay, so this is not an equation, right? This is a a a a, a constant. Oh, no, no, sorry, I forget something. Shoot. <laughs> I forgot something. So what I forgot is this is exactly at point where? At point B. And at point B, we have a reaction. At point B, our reaction is what? Uh, 120. I do apologize. I mix it up. Right. So when is the case, right? So what, what is our value now? Okay. And I'm going to say something more regarding this. Okay. So minus 40 times 10 to power 3 plus by 120 times 10 to power 3. And then finally, minus by VB the whole thing is equal to zero. Okay, so VB is equal to minus 40, so it's 80 times 10 to about 3 Newton. Okay, then I'm, I'm going to do moment, then I have a statement to make, okay? So, some mention about moment. Z at point B. So, what it means is we're going to take our movement where the, where the dot is, okay, where the dot is. So when this is the case, we will have what? We will have uh, 40 times 10 to power is going to be clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise. So 40 times 10 to power 3 multiplied by 0 0.4 plus by M at point B is equal to 0. So M at point B is equal to minus 40 power 3 times by A, 40 power 3 times 0.4 is equal to minus 16 times 10 to the power 3 newton meter. Okay, so we, we, we know, right, uh, our shear force goes to 80 times 10 to the power 3 and our bending moment is equal to minus 16 times 10 to the power 3. Okay. Uh, and it's a constant. Okay. Now, what if now? Okay. So let's let's. I want I want you I want you all to 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 observe this. Okay. This is very important because I did not when I was a undergrad. I did not know. I just I I just thought. Well, let me tell you what I just thought. I just thought that we only need to find what is AC, BC, and CD. Okay, when I, when I was an undergrad. I did not realize that we have to find spe uh, specific location. Okay, I did not know that. I did not know that you have to find at point A what is going on, point B what is going on, point C what is going on, point D what is going on. 
Okay, let, 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 me, let me elaborate. Okay. Let me use these numbers. Okay, let me use this number. Okay. So now, between A to B, if now we, we substitute X is equal to, so we want to find X is equal to 0 0.8. Right? So our answer will be minus 50 power 3 times by 0 0.8 is equal to minus 40,000. Right? 40 kilonewton. Right? So we are going to assume that at point B is equal to minus 40 kilonewton. Okay. But in fact, it's not. So because we analyze B, right, it's in fact 80.3. So if we ignore point B, I'll tell you what, what is the consequences. Okay, let's say we ignore point B. Okay, we ignore point B. So our graph will look like this. If, if we were to ignore Point B. We just look at the range. Okay, we just want the equation. We just look at range, 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 range. Right. So if you just cons ignore point B, right. So this is V. So this is zero, and this is your point B, zero point four. Okay. So the distance from here to here is zero point eight. All right. So if we were to ignore point B and we just follow our equation, right. So what we get is minus 50 minus 50 power 3 times by 0.8. We will do, we will plot, the, uh, we will plot here, right? We just draw a straight line. And this is my point B, okay? So this is the trend, which is not wrong, it's correct. But exactly at point B, as we have calculated, you will have a jump. you will have a jump of 80 kilonewton. If you were to ignore point B and you do B to C, right, you will not capture the 80 times 10 to the power 3 at all. You understand what I mean? That's why it's important to find the fixed point. Okay, what is a fixed point? Specific location, whether is there's a reaction. What, what, what do I mean by, by points? How to locate the points? Okay, I'm going to write this out. I realize I did. So how to locate the points? Okay, so to locate the points, two criteria. Okay, as long as there or as long as there is a support, right? As long as a support, it's one point I have to find. And then the next one is when the loading condition changes okay and so so if you look at this diagram okay why is point c a point right a and b we can understand or b and d we can understand okay there's support a because x is equal to zero the datum you always have to find but why c you have to make it as a specific point is because the loading condition changes period okay why I like to mention this because a lot of times, okay, we are given a question like this is easy. But if you are given a question where you've got nothing, what do I mean nothing? You only have support. And then you have a load distribution over here, right? And in real engineering situation, you're not given which point to find or is that point important. So that's where you have to realize that you have to find point A, point B, and point D, okay? It satisfies there's a support. A, because it's data, B and D, there's B and D because there's a, what, support. But C is also a must to find, right? C is a must to find because the loading condition, it started with evenly distributed, and then at point C, oops a daisy, you have a change, okay? So over here, that is why you have to be, you have to find what is going on at point B. Remember what I did before? I forgot about this what? 120. I'm like, oh, I forgot it. Because exactly at point D, B, sorry, exactly at point B, you have 120 times 10 to power 3. That's where it makes the difference. Are we clear? Okay. But very interesting is this. Okay. Very interesting is this. So if we go back to the table, right? 
if we were to find that moment at 0 0.8, okay, so you have 35 power 3 multiplied by 0 0.8, okay, 35 power of 3 times by 0 0.8 once and by 0 0.8 twice, you also get what? 16 times 10 to the power 3. You realize that, hey, it did not affect the what? It did not affect the moment. And why it did not affect the moment? Because, right, because the 120 times 10 to the power 3 relative to point B, the distance is equal to what? Zero. Right, you say, Eugene, we, we can get away with the shear force. I mean, we can get away with the bending moment, but not the shear force. You are absolutely right. Okay, now uh, I propose that we go for a, a break. Okay, and then we come back, we finish the, the, the rest of the beam. Okay, so go for a, a we come back at 10.50. Okay, so I'll, 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 I'll write this, we'll come back at 10.50. One. Let me stop recording first. <laughs>